one excited, uh, exciting area that I'm passionate about, and I think it has good uh, potential uh, in yeah. the future, uh, is building machine learning models for embedded devices. Mm. So embedded devices vary from smart watches to smart speakers, like the uh, Google Nest speaker or Amazon uh, Alexa. Uh, Mm -hmm. Echo speakers. Yeah. Uh, these speakers need to have enough processing power uh, to detect some signals uh, in the audio signal that we give it to. Yeah. Uh, and be able to process it. But uh, by the physical limitations that we have on its size and the processing power and the battery uh, power, uh, it's it has to uh, operate within a certain processing power limitations. Mm. So if you do have a smart watch, you can also you can only have so much power. power That's the true. <laughs> you don't run like big <laughs> algorithm on a smart watch, <laughs> but you probably can do some simple like edge computing stuff, right? Uh, uh, that's going to be the challenge. Yes, uh, mm. is when you build something for the smart watch, you need to well, first of all. Uh, know what you're looking for in the data, mm. process it, and then upload it to the cloud uh, right away to consume right. uh, battery power. Uh, uh, you need to only upload the data at the absolute minimum because wow. that's going to be a big power battery drain. That's uh, true. Well. Uh huh. So data like throughputs, like kind of the response throughputs, those are all kinds of a system concerns, right? Like because um, you're dealing with such a like small things. Uh, but they're they're sending the data all the time, so you have to make sure they you collect them in the cloud, you know, in a, in a, in a, in then having that reliability. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of constraints, yes, mm. uh, upload constraints, processing constraints. Uh, you're gonna find yourself relying more on embedded sensors on the device, be it an accelerometer or a compass, uh, that will help you get as much data as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, without consuming so much uh, battery power. So the data privacy problem ties very well to uh, the embedded uh, devices example I gave earlier. Okay. The uh, uh, reason for this is that one of the benefits of doing edge processing, which is doing most of the processing on your smartwatch or smart speaker, uh, is you would let your user uh, keep their own uh, private data uh -huh. uh, on their own side. Right. The data isn't going to be uploaded to the cloud. It's not going to go to, to Google or Facebook. Uh, they're going to be in control of their data. Right. Uh, this will address a lot of uh, the uh, data privacy concerns that uh, users have.